Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kerry if you've never been here before and I love to review makeup, eyeshadow palettes, especially indie brands quite a lot. But today we have got another collab with Makeup Revolution. They are killing it at the minute because I love the Beetlejuice collection. I still need to do another video on that with the smaller palette. But today we have Coraline and I'm excited because Coraline is one of my favourite Halloween time movies. I just, I love that film so, so much. So I picked up the whole collection because I'm crazy. So if that's what you want to see. Stick around, subscribe and we'll get into it. So like I say, I am crazy and I did pick up this whole collection because I am obsessed with Coraline. I do think they missed a trick with putting out a little doll like that would have been Amazing, I'm still eyeing up the little Coraline doll because I just like to stand it in my background, to be honest. I absolutely love the film. Let me know, have you seen it? So many people that I've asked have said they've never seen it and I'm like, how? It's amazing. So first, we're gonna get into the close-ups of all the different things in this collection and the swatches and then we can start playing with it all. I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around so little and we keep track of time being so serious idiots thinking it will matter keep me company downtown before the clock runs out sun is shining but the rain is welcome to friends are nearby don't need another view time is not on my mind but then it's you oh All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady, cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up absolutely gorgeous bits to this collection. Now Revolution usually do humongous collections and a lot of the time I think that could have been scaled down. This time I think it's been too scaled down and it should have been absolutely huge. I would love a Coraline part two with a button mirror. Can you imagine? So first we have the makeup bag. This has got the cat on it from the film and it's even got the little crooked cat tail on the zip handle and I just think it is super cute. It's not the best quality in the world when I'm feeling it to be honest but it does look super cute it says revolution and Coraline on the back and it's got the cute little cat ears it's adorable there was no way I wasn't going to be getting it and it does kind of open up to be quite a big bag so I'm actually thinking now that I've got this I might pass this on to my daughter because she loves anything cat related excuse me this is very rude she loves anything cat related and she loves Coraline so I think I'll be passing this on to her because I don't need another makeup bag but I couldn't not look at it. I'm definitely gonna be trying out this button. This is genius, okay? This is, if there was gonna bring out anything in this collection, the fact that you can put the buttons on your eyes, I mean, that is the whole thing of the film. So that is just perfect. I like them, they're nice and purple and sparkly. Pop them in the fridge and they'll be nice and cooling and they'll deep puff your eyeballs. If I can detach them from this cardboard with some horrible sticky glue, They've got glitter gel in them and they just look, I mean, I'm gonna be using these. I'm, that is super cute. I love this little touch and I'm so happy it's part of the collection. Even the little bit of the packaging, which is like cute as a button. Then we have hair clips. I am wearing one right now. Dragonflies, absolutely gorgeous. Again, all the packaging, absolutely gorgeous artwork on it. And this is what the clip looks like up close and I think it looks like real good quality it looks beautiful and I think it looks quite pretty in the hair I think it's really really nice I will definitely make use of these that that is super nice then we've got the liquid lipstick duo this is 
is it the other mother is that what it's called and we've got a new side and a black side so i'm excited to test these out see if they're any good but i like that we've got the two different options then we have the smaller palette which is called what is the name of this one i feel like it's something to do with the door i'll pop the name of the palette on screen if i can find it because i can't actually see it just says shadow palette and it doesn't actually have the name on it as far as i can see which is a little bit strange it does say around the sides of the packaging of this smaller one though it says be careful what you wish for and it also says you're going to stay here forever and soon you'll see things our way absolutely love that like the attention to detail even writing those little things on the packaging love that and the palette does open like a door and it says inside you probably think this world is a dream come true but you're wrong and that's what the cat says in the film now i have already swatched this so mine's a little bit bashed up but little key indentations in this door palette absolutely love it i like the color story it's deep it's dramatic it's purpley definitely excited to do a look with this one then we have the star of the show which is the big palette this is the outer packaging which is super cute done up in a bow and the fact that they've done it as a button i absolutely love that like it couldn't have been anything else could it really and it slides up and it's magnetic and this is gonna be interesting because a lot of people don't like palettes that are laid out like this it's it's it will send some people crazy but personally because it's Coraline I really don't mind this I love it it won't be the easiest to store unless you keep the outer packaging that keeps it as a square then it won't roll off your shelf but I really like the colour story of this I like the theme of this palette it just looks amazing we have depth we do have some light tones well I can see sort of one sort of mid-tone ish I do like the colours that are incorporated especially the yellows I was hoping there was going to be some yellows because of the raincoat that Cor Coraline wears so I'm definitely excited to do an eye look with this and the indentations in this is the dragonfly and the little stone that she looks through the seeing stone so she can see where the children's lost eyes are and I have actually purchased the necklace look don't tell me that I'm sad I love Coraline with a passion and I got this necklace on eBay if you just go onto eBay and type in Coraline necklace you'll see a lot of these pop up if you're after one I'm obsessed and I'm not even going to apologize for it so I'm going to start out by priming with my Natasha Denona eyeshadow base and I think first I'm going to dive into the bigger palette I am so excited for this I didn't even get a dispatch email from Makeup Revolution's website and I'm like Makeup Revolution I ordered like where where's my order and then it just showed up at the door so I don't know if that's gonna be the case with everybody but if you haven't heard a dispatch email it may just turn up randomly I'm not always the biggest fan of Makeup Revolution but their collabs I'm a sucker for I love collabs especially when it's with something that I love like Coraline or Beetlejuice and I do think the quality of their collabs is really good so like I say we're gonna start out with the bigger palette first the button palette and what are we going to begin with i feel like because i'm going to do a look with the smaller palette as well and that's full of purple i don't want to stick to too many purples in this one although this is predominantly purple i feel like maybe going into some of the blues and maybe even the yellow just so it's a little bit different from what i'm going to do with the next palette so i'm going to start out with the shade coraline why not it's a coraline collection and it's this deep blue here and i'm going to pack this into the outer corner and hope for pigment and depth okay that is definitely not as deep as what it is in the pan so I'm hoping I can build that up to become as deep as what it looks like this was quite a difficult one to swatch compared to some of them in this palette but as you can see that dark blue is not as deep on my eye so I'm just going to keep packing it on in the hope that we can build it up a little It's definitely building up, but I don't know if we're going to reach the shade that it is in the pan. Okay, I've tried to build that up as much as I possibly can, and it's still not the same depth as what this deep blue is. That is very deep blue, and it's just, it's not exactly the same, which makes me a little bit sad because I was really excited for that shade because it's super deep. But yeah, you can build it up, but... It's definitely not true to pan. I'm just tickling on the edges of that to diffuse it and smoke it out a little bit. Then I am going to take a little bit of the black in the palette, which is called Thread, and it's this one here. I'm just going to pop that on the very outer corner just to try and deepen it up a touch, seems as the deep blue did definitely not want to build up to 
full opacity and oh that black is pigmented and giving me some depth i may have put a tad bit much on yeah there's nothing wrong with that black shade whatsoever let's go in with a little bit more blue then i think i want to go into the shade home which is this one here and just continue toward the inner corner Oh, that's pigmented. Okay. And that is definitely more true to pan. I'm just going to wiggle on the very edges of this to diffuse it before I blend it out with another shade. That has gone on so pigmented though, and it's blending really nicely. Then I think I'm going to come in with the shade Evil, which is this one here. And just start tickling on the edges of that purple and trying to diffuse this front part. This is quite a pastel-y colour, so I might pack it on rather than just, yeah, it packs on a lot better than just trying to use swiping motions and blending, just because it is more on the pastel side. You may be wondering why my look is fully finished, and that's because it stopped filming. Don't you love it when that happens? Um, I think we got up to sort of blending the front part. I'm just going to tell you the other things that I use because I actually really like this look because... I even did like the thread through the cut crease and the little button like, you know, Coraline-esque. So I'm sorry about that, guys. That is so frustrating that it stopped filming and it just didn't save everything else that I did. But I did continue the blues on the lower lash line. I went in and did a cut crease and did the beautiful gold shade, the golden yellow, which is called Moonlight. And I also went in with the blue shimmer, which is a bit putty-like, which is called Perfect. They applied nicely with a brush. I wish you could have seen it. Um, yeah, then I did go off camera and I did use my ABH liquid liner just to do the little thread. And just for the very outer part that I needed to be a little bit more precise, I went in with my Attitude Cosmetics Split Hit Painters Paradise palette, which I was very kindly gifted from Attitude. And I do have a code with them that is not affiliated if you want to pick one of their items up. And I did go in with the black shade like I say, just to do the button and just to do this very fine line of the end of the thread. I just thought it was very Coraline-esque to do sort of a thread, you know, button eyes type of. In my waterline, I went in with my, what is this? Influencer Overnight Pencil in the deep blue. And I did use the liquid lip and I did use the nude side and it applied beautifully like a cream texture and it has dried down now and it hasn't cracked, it feels comfortable and it's lovely. I have to say I really like the nude colour on my skin tone, I think it looks really really pretty with this look. Again, so sorry that that wasn't filming, that is so annoying but the shimmers did apply beautifully um, easily with a brush. I do use refer brushes which are goat's hair to apply shimmers. Just find the pick up a little bit easier and apply a little bit easier but yeah they went on really really nicely and then I just did the liner. Let me know what you think to this look guys, I'm sorry that you couldn't see all of it but I really like how it's come together. I like the colours and the colour combination and the colours that are in this palette. I feel like it is very Coraline colours. Let me know if you agree and we're going to jump into the next look with the door palette. Where is that? Here it is. But yeah, I really like how this has come together. This is a little bit closer, but I think everything came together nicely. So let's jump in to the next look with the door palette and then we'll test out the other side of the liquid lipstick. Okay guys, so for look number two with the smaller nine pan palette, hopefully this one will film the whole lot. I'm still salty about that, still very, very salty. We are obviously going to be doing a nice purple look with this. I think the colour story of this looks beautiful. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out with the shade Soul, which is this nice purple here. And I'm going to pack that on the outer and inner corners. And that is pigmented. That is a nice purple. Look at that. Ooh. Just kind of stamping it where I want it for now before we decide to blend the edges. But that is going on really nicely. Now I do film on my phone. And although I've got a lot of storage on my phone, I do try and film in 4K so it eats storage dramatically so it doesn't actually tell me when it stopped filming and it's run out of storage so I've just told my husband this little issue that's happened while I've been filming and he's like I think we need to get you a camera don't we Carrie I'm like 
that would be nice. That would be real nice. So if you have any amazing camera recommendations that aren't ridiculously expensive, I would be very appreciative of that. And I'm really sad because I really liked that look, especially with the liner and everything. And I could have just scrapped it or started again, but it's kind of a little soul destroying when you've created a look that you're happy with and part of the footage is missing. Okay, this is the kind of crazy shape that we've got going on at the minute. Um, but I'm loving this tone of purple. I think it's beautiful and it's gone on really, really nicely. Then I want to go in with the shade YB and I love that a shade is called YB because I think he's an amazing character. And this tone of purple is beautiful and I am just gonna slightly wiggle it on the edges of what we already had going on. And I'm gonna bring that right the way across to bridge the gap. Now I'm gonna be going in the middle with a shimmer, obviously. This is gonna be kind of a halo eye-ish, but let's just pack it on and then we'll start a blend. I'm hoping these purples aren't too similar to each other. So it doesn't just look like a purple mess. Okay, that is placed on where I want it. I'm gonna go back into the Soul shade, which was the deeper purple. And just make sure we're not losing any of that. Okay, that's looking somewhat how I want it. I think I'm gonna to have to go in with the black though, aren't I? So black is called Button, which is super cute. I'm just going to use a little bit of this, like the black in the other palette was very pigmented so, and there's a lot of fallout in the pan with this. So I just want to be careful and just pop this in the very inner and outer corner just to add that little bit of extra depth. And as you can see, there definitely is some nice depth there now. I'm going to run those purples as well along the lower lash line and I'm not going to leave a gap for a shimmer along the lower lash line. I just want to continue it all the way. And just to make use of as many shades as we possibly can, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the shade Lost, just to tickle around the very, very edges. And I quite like that Lost is kind of a blank light shade and it'll be a really nice inner corner on a lot of skin tones. That has just diffused the edges of this beautifully. I really, really like that that shade is included. Okay, so I think for the very, very centre, I want to go into the shade Puppet, which is a bit of a putty-like one. And then maybe for the edges, we'll go into this one, which is called Brave. So I'm gonna start off with Puppet first. I'm using a refer brush just because the goat's hair and they do generally pick things up a little bit better. And I'm gonna pop this down the very centre. That hasn't picked up the best because like I said, putty. I don't always like to use my finger and I don't always like to use, oh that's a little bit better, sponge tip applicators if I can help it, it's just my preferred method using a brush, I feel like I can be precise and that's how I like to use it but building that up and we can definitely see it and that is a pretty shade. Then I'm going to flip my brush over and I'm going to go into the shade Brave which was the deep sort of blue that's got a black base to it and I think I want to spray this looking at it because I don't want any fallout. Okay, and then I'm just going to go over the edges with the shade of that shimmer into the matte and try and work on a nice, ooh, that's going to make it a nice blend into that matte. Okay, can't lie, I'm obsessed with how this is looking. Let me jump off, finish up the rest of this look, and then we'll come back and test the black liquid lipstick. Okay, I have just got in with some half lashes. Pop some mascara on. I did go in my waterline with the P. Louise and Mitchell Acid Rain Paint in Ibiza. I'm not sure if you can still get this anymore, but it's just a nice lilac -y colour. You could have thrown any purple in the waterline, but I just really like the tone of this one. As you may tell, I've got crazy lips right now because I have lined them with my Influencer Overnight Eyeliner Pencil in black. And we're going to go in with the liquid lipstick. This time you're going to be able to see it. I'm assuming it's the same formula as the other side, just a different colour. And I really did like the other one and the way it applied and the way it felt creamy. So we're gonna go in with this and hopefully not get it all over my face. Yeah, it feels the same texture as the other side. Oh. For a black, that applied so easily. I have trouble applying black liquid lipstick, but that, 
was super easy and went on beautifully pigmented obviously i'm gonna wait for it to dry down like the other side did the other side did feel comfortable when it dried down so i'm excited to see what this one's gonna be like when it dries down because it's very difficult to find a really good black liquid lipstick that looks to be drying down beautifully and I can feel it's on the lips but it's not heavy, it doesn't feel annoying, it's actually quite nice of a formula for a black liquid lipstick and I'm just pleased that I haven't got it all over my teeth. Okay, just on first impressions, I can see a little bit of cracking already now that it's drying. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but yeah, it's in my lip crevices because you know I haven't got the plumpest youngest lips anymore. Let me just go in again. Okay, now it seems to be taking off the product that was already on there and drying down. That's a bit annoying, but yeah. Mm. Sorry I'm pulling these awful faces at you, but I just, I had high hopes for this because the other side was really, really nice. But maybe you didn't notice the cracking as much because it was a nude. But the black, yeah, I, it doesn't, yeah. It does look like it cracks a little bit with the lines in your lips and then when you try and go in again it's just taking off the product and this yeah I had high hopes but I really don't think I'll be reaching for this side it just mm, yeah the staying power of it and how it's drying down is not my favorite so I wouldn't recommend picking this up if you really really wanted it for the black um it's not my favorite so this is the finished eye look guys please do let me know what you think down below and which is your favorite look out of the two which is your favorite palette out of the two and what's your favorite out of this collection i'm going to go through each thing give you my thoughts on it and give you a rundown of my first impressions so i did just tell you about the lipstick and yeah really like this side black side not so much maybe it was less noticeable with the neutral side that there was not so much cracking and things or maybe it's just because it's a black I don't know I don't know if that's more difficult but even now as this is drying down again yeah it doesn't look pleasant on the lips you can see it's sort of settling I don't know you can sort of see gaps where the lines are in my lips um and it's not the most flattering black lip at all so I won't ever be reaching for that side again this side I will definitely use again I quite liked how this looked on the lips but yeah black side a bit disappointing Obviously the eye gel pads I haven't tried yet. I will try them. I imagine they're going to be good. If you put them in the fridge and they're nice and cooling on the eye then I can't see there being a problem with those but I do think they are super cute in the collection and if you are a Coraline fan like this is, come on, button eyes. Absolutely obsessed with the hair clips. I'm going to be using these more and more especially around this time of year because I absolutely love to watch Coraline. I have already watched Coraline in September but I feel like I'm gonna to have to watch it again tonight just because I played with this collection and it is one of my favorite films but yeah I think they're really really cute dragonfly hair clips I don't think you can go wrong with these for any Coraline fan or anyone that just likes clips like this and dragonflies the little cute cat bag like I say I will be passing this on to my daughter because I do not need any more makeup bags um, especially on the smaller side ones um, but it was so so cute and I love anything Coraline related as we have discovered so I had to pick it up with the collection like I say it, I'm stuck again seriously Kat I don't think it feels like the best quality in the world but I do really like the design and it is quite a big makeup bag like this is the bottom if I push out the bottom that's sort of how wide it goes so it's bigger than I originally imagined um, and it comes like this folded when it arrives so it is a nice little makeup bag I just I don't personally need it I I have too much makeup to fit in a bag this size but yeah the actual feeling of it isn't my favorite then we have the door palette which is the one for this look and I have to say I really enjoyed this I love doing the swatches of this one the swatches were beautiful of this I think it's a really nice pretty little palette especially if you're a Coraline fan and you just wanted to pick up one small thing from the collection I quite like this from the shades that I used today how many shades did I use one two three four five six six out of nine that's not bad um and the shades that I tried I really really enjoyed I think they are good quality for revolution if you are someone that avoids revolution because of their quality I don't think you'd be mad at this palette um, like I say, I do usually like the collab palettes with Revolution. So if you were something out and ahhing about whether this was a good palette or not, in my opinion, I enjoyed it. I would definitely play with it again. Love the look that I created with this one. So yeah, that one is a thumbs up. 
Then we have the bigger palette. Now, obviously I haven't tested all the shades. This is just a first impression. I will have to go in and play with it again, obviously. But from the shades that I used today, this is very difficult to hold, wow. The shades that I used today, I enjoyed and they were nice. However, this deep blue really did disappoint me. Not because it wasn't, it, I mean, it was pigmented, it went on and it blended out and it looked beautiful, but it's not true to pan. That is my only issue with this deep blue shade. I don't know if that one's a little bit harder pressed or something than the others, because there wasn't a lot of fallout in the pan with this, but there was with some of the other shades. So I don't know if that was the cause of that. Um, this blue shimmer was very putty-like. I don't know, you know, if you like that type of shimmer formula. There are a few different type of shimmer formulas in here from the looks of things. I really did like how the yellow worked and I did like the blue on the lid when I could actually pick it up on the brush. But like I say, I use goat's hair brushes, so I do find that a little bit easier. The black was beautiful and pigmented, just how I like my blacks. There was a little bit of fallout in the pan. It was it was delicious to deepen up the look with. I do feel like this colour story does kind of represent Coraline. I think there is a lot of purples in this, like purpley pink tones. I don't know. I don't know if I'd change anything or not, but I actually like the layout. I like the fact it's a button and the way that it slides up. I know not a lot of people are going to like that. They would have liked a traditional shaped eyeshadow palette. And, you know, you're not going to please everyone with these type of things, but I think this is quirky and it's a little bit different. It did kind of remind me a bit when I first saw the reveal of this, of the Corpse Bride palette that Revolution did last year. But having looked at it, and looking at this one, now I've got to try and hold both, hold on. Looking at them, there are some similarities, but they are definitely different. I feel like this one has got more pops of blue, you've got an orange, you've got different tones in this one, even though they are pinky purple as well. So that's something to bear in mind if you already own the Corpse Bride. But I do feel like they're different, but similar. And overall, I do feel like the quality of the smaller palette is slightly better than the quality of the bigger palette just from the shades that I've used today. So that's just my first impression. Maybe I'll feel differently when I've tried more shades, but I'd say this palette is definitely my favorite out of the two, which I didn't think was gonna be the case, but make of that what you will. How are we looking with this black lipstick now? I just, no, no, it's even coming off where I applied it. Like you can see the inside of my lip color and that is not it. So guys, those are my first impressions on the Makeup Revolution and Coraline collection. I really, really hope that they do a part two because there are so many other things that I could imagine in this collection. Like if they do a button mirror, it shall be mine. Let me know what you think to the looks, what you think to this collection and which look was your favourite. Was it the button palette or the door palette? Please do let me know in the comments. And let me know, have you seen Coraline? So many people are saying no. Like I don't actually think it's streaming for free on anything right now, which is a shame. I do have it on DVD because like I say, it's one of my favourite films. I am going to be watching it tonight. I think it's fantastic. And I really like that they've done a collab with Coraline. I think the packaging of everything is absolutely beautiful. The price points aren't too bad considering it's a collab. I do think it's a lot 20 pounds for this big eyeshadow palette though considering the quality of the shades that i've used today they're not bad yeah i do feel like 20 pounds i mean you gotta really love Coraline um, or revolution or both i don't feel like there was any duds in this collection so far apart from this black lip this black lip is a dud let me tell you Thank you so much for joining me for this video guys if this is the sort of content that you enjoy please do consider subscribing i will hopefully do another video with these palettes in the future so don't forget to turn the notification bell on so you're notified if i upload with that if you're wondering anything else that i'm wearing or anything else that i've used today it will be in the description box down below along with my socials and my patreon group and my youtube membership please don't forget to give me a thumbs up a pity thumbs up would be lovely considering i soldiered on with this video even when it stopped filming <laughs> still salty i'm still salty about that let me know what you'd like to see in upcoming videos and hopefully guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.